There's a cool program out there that Apple's testing out right now called Boot Camp that lets you run Windows on your computer. Now you can't run them both at the same time with this program, but you can install Windows on it and dual boot your system. Let's show you how to do it. Before we install Boot Camp, we have to make sure your computer is in shape for the upgrade. So we need to make sure it's running an Intel processor. Click on your little Apple logo, then click About This Mac. And this one says it's running Intel Core 2 Duo, so we're good there. Then we need to make sure our OS 10 version is at least 10.4.6. This one says it's running 10.4.9. Now, underneath there, there's a little software update button. We need to click that and make sure we're running all of the latest software. Once all of that is done, do not go any further until you back up your system. Now it's time to fire up our browser and go to apple.com slash bootcamp. You need to download this 28-page installation and setup guide. Now, you may say, well, why do I need to download it? You're going to show me how to do it, so don't worry about it. Just do it. You want to have this reference on paper in case you get to a place where you're totally confused. Once you've downloaded the program, it should be on your desktop or wherever it downloaded to. Double-click it and let it go through the motions of installing Boot Camp on our system. Now, you won't find a Boot Camp icon on your desktop, so you need to browse to your finder. Then go to Applications under Utilities. You should find it. There it is, Boot Camp Assistant. Double click it and let's start it up. So the first thing you need to do is put in a blank disk to make a set of drivers and other software that you're going to run on the Windows side once you have this all installed. Now you need to make a little space on your hard drive to install the Windows software. I'm just going to click here on this Use 32 gigs to make it easy and partition away. <laughs> Once it's finished partitioning, you'll see this screen that says Start Windows Installations. You want to grab your Windows disk. It'll tell you the ones that will work for this. You have to have a full installation disk. And you just pop that in and click Start Installation. Now your computer is going to shut down. It's going to restart and actually boot off the Windows disk into the uh, Windows installation mode. The first thing Vista is going to ask you to do is enter in your product key for activation. But I'm sort of trying out Vista. I just want to see how it works on my Mac. So I'm not going to activate it just yet. So even though it doesn't look like you can skip this page, just click Next without entering anything in the form and click No after that. And it'll still let you install Vista. You just won't have anything available after 30 days of use. So we want to check to make sure that we're putting it on the right partition. We don't want to copy this over our Mac OS X installation. So here's partition 3 is 32 gigs, which is exactly the amount that we partitioned before. So that must be it. So here's the portion where it's going to take the longest for this installation. It's going to copy all the files to your hard drive, expand them, then install Vista, and finally restart your system and start up the new Vista operating system. So this is going to take a little bit. <laughs> When you see your welcome screen, resist the urge to dive right into Vista right away because not everything's going to work just yet. First, we need to take out our Vista disk. And here's your first challenge. You go right for the eject button on your Mac. Not going to work because you don't have those drivers in yet. So you have to go to your Start Menu, Computer, and manually eject it. Then, remember our driver disk? We're going to put that one in. And if everything is working properly, it should automatically start right up by itself. This Boot Camp installation disk contains all of the drivers for everything that runs your Mac. Things like the iSight, things like the Bluetooth, things like your wireless, things like the eject button. And I put them all in this neat little file that it's installing on your Windows Vista side. So hopefully it'll run just as smoothly as your OS X side. Some people will probably argue that, but I'm sticking with it. Once your Boot Camp installer is finished, you're going to restart your computer one final time so that you can finally enjoy Windows Vista. I wish there was some great screen that says, congratulations, look, you just installed Windows on a Mac, but there's not going to be. One thing you do get is a little Boot Camp Help uh, dialog box that will pop up the first time when you restart in uh, Vista. Close that out. And to test to make sure we did everything right, let's press our eject button and see if our disk comes out. And it did. So we must have done everything correctly. Congratulations, you now have the best of both worlds on one computer. The only thing you need to know now is how to switch between Windows and OS X. So there's a couple ways you can do it. The first is on, upon startup, you just hold down the Alt Option key. Now if you want to choose the default operating system to start up in, you can go into Windows in the control panel. There's a little thing called Startup Disk. And they also have that same option under your system preferences in your OS X. 
That's all there is to it. That's it for this Insider Secret. I'm Rich Demuro with CNET TV. Enjoy your newfound freedom with two operating systems.